At Barefoot Contessa, we used to make bread pudding from leftover croissant. I decided it'd be really fun to do a twist on that bread pudding and do it with an Italian panettone. It tastes a lot like brioche, I have to say. It's like an egg bread, it's a little sweet, and it has wonderful raisins and candied fruit in it. So I'm just gonna cut it up in one inch cubes. Since the panettone's fresh, I'm just gonna bake it for about 10 minutes. And then when it's a little drier, it'll absorb everything. Into the oven, 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. This is a really good custard. I need eggs. I'm gonna do three extra large eggs, whole eggs. This takes a lot of eggs to make a good custard. Eight egg yolks. I always use extra large eggs. Save the egg whites for meringues. Okay, five cups of half and half. Half and half is actually half milk and half cream, so if you don't have it, you can do both. That's one quart plus another cup. That should be about right. Okay, and then some gorgeous flavorings. I love vanilla. Two teaspoons of vanilla. And then because I'm gonna do almonds on the top, I'm gonna put a little bit of almond extract in, just about a half a teaspoon. And then we need sugar, half a cup of sugar. So it's really classic custard with the volume turned up. Now I'm gonna whisk this all together. I love the idea of a panettone bread pudding. So all that wonderful egg bread and the brioche, it's a little sweet. I think the panettone's ready. So the panettone bread cubes look great and they smell unbelievable. So I have a nine by 12 baking dish that I've actually buttered the bottom. You can really use any kind of bread for this, but you really want some kind of a good bread, sweet bread. Okay, and then take the custard and pour it right over. Mm. This is gonna be delicious. It's gonna sit for about 10 minutes while the toasted panettone absorbs all that gorgeous custard. Okay, while that soaks, I'm gonna get the water bath ready. The best way to cook custard is in a water bath. And I just use the hottest tap water I have. So, I'm just gonna fill a pitcher with hot tap water. Big roasting pan, the panettone bread pudding. And then I'm just gonna pour it right around the custard. Hot water never gets higher than 212 degrees because it boils. And so it keeps the custard at very even and a very low temperature. I'm just gonna have the water about halfway up the side of the dish. Okay, now two things. Almonds for a nice crunchy top and some aluminum foil to cover it. I put some almond extract in it, but the real flavor here is the almonds on the top. And the good news is when it bakes, the almonds are gonna get nice and toasted and browned. And so the creamy custard and the crunchy almonds and the incredibly rich panettone, it's a fabulous combination. I just say, this is a crab pleaser. So cover the whole thing with aluminum foil. Cover it pretty tightly. I'm gonna bake it for 45 minutes at 350 degrees. And then I'm gonna uncover it and bake it for another 45 minutes until it's puffed and golden brown and absolutely delicious. Into the oven. Be really careful you don't slosh it too much because you don't wanna get water into the panettone. 